Hey guys, welcome back to my channel for another video. So, I'm deciding to do it laying down because I just came back from school and I'm lazy and I don't want to sit up. Uh, yeah. So, yesterday somebody, uh, um, somebody asked me, am I able to listen to comments? And that is why I did the How I Use My Phone Every Day video. Then on that same day, that same person asked me, you know, do I go to a public or private school? And that got me thinking of doing a video on my journey through education. Even though I do have two years left, you know, because I'm in 10th grade. Um, I decided to just go ahead and do a video because it's likely that I'm just going to stay where I am for the next two years of high school and then i'm off to college which i don't know exactly but i'm thinking about being a relationship counselor i don't know things changed um yeah so okay when i was a baby i was born blind i uh, was born with retinoblastoma which is a eye cancer there was a tumor in my left eye and it was about to spread to my right, but luckily the doctor saved my life because I would have been totally blind. Like, a, to a totally blind. So, that's why. I was born blind. I was born, I think I was born with a tumor. I don't know. And the reason why I can't see in my right eye is, well, I have light perception. If you haven't seen my blind rap, you should go check it out because I think it's pretty clever. Anyway... Um, uh, what was I going to say? Uh, yeah, my retina detached. So when I was about one or two, I had a service to where a teacher would come to my house every week, I think, and would work with me on, you know, my fine motor skills, how to grab things, how to do different things as I should. I heard that I was a very talkative kid. I never, cr I cried, but like not as much as most babies would. I was four pounds, two ounces when I was a baby. So I was premature, but that has nothing to do with the fact that I'm blind. So at least I have it easy because, you know, most people, they, they don't, they were born with vision and then they're blind as they get older. So it's a little harder for them to get used to the change, but this has basically been my life. So I'm pretty used to it. So after the service, I went to pre-K at three years old, and that's when I started to learn about Braille, which is a series of six dots, and you can make the alphabet, you can make numbers, you can make, you know, you can write things with just six dots, six tiny little dots, isn't that cool? Um, uh, so I went there to pre-K, and we learned about the different weather sunny winter uh, sunny what cold snowy rainy yeah there we go and then when i was five so i went to pre-k from three to four so there i started learning how to read when i was three and i'm 15 now so uh 12 years i've been dealing with braille so when i was five i went to kindergarten and i was still in the same school i it's a public school um in kindergarten uh, we went to the zoo one time, and one time we went to the, um, a museum. Yeah, there we go. Um, I went to kindergarten, like a regular kid, and then first grade, I think I was in, I was six years old in first grade, still in the same school, nothing really changed, just different teachers. Second grade, I was seven years old, still in the same school. Third grade, I think third grade might have been, like, my favorite teacher in a public school in elementary and this is where it kind of gets confusing because in fourth grade I went to fourth grade I was nine years old and that's when things started to get hard because the math that we were doing I mean it was regular math I was in a regular public school in a regular class with you know like sighted kids and I was falling behind I didn't understand anything I felt like I was getting yelled at every single day I wouldn't do my homework. I wouldn't, I would try to watch TV while doing homework. I would get, I would cry most days because people were yelling at me or getting on to me about things. And I, I was just frustrated and confused as a nine-year-old. I'm like, 
What's going on? I don't know. I need help. Somebody help me. <laughs> okay, that was too much. Um, so I got referred to a blind school in Austin in the second semester of fourth grade. And that pretty much changed my life. Um, I got help that I needed that the public school couldn't provide. I, uh, it was just totally different. And I met friends who were exactly like me. And in public school, I didn't know that there are other people like me who were blind. I, and I'm grateful to have the right, the same rights as education as like sighted people do, because I know people who didn't exactly have that. Specifically another YouTuber, her name is Molly Burke. So yeah. Um, so I went there from the second semester of fourth grade all the way up till eighth grade. You can graduate there, but you're not supposed to. So then ninth grade comes, you know, the start of high school, and my district decides that they're ready for me. I would have gone to a middle school, but they weren't ready for me. They couldn't provide what I needed, so whatever. So in ninth grade, I went to the school I'm at now, and ninth grade, uh, let me just tell you, the transition from a blind school to a back to a public school was not easy. Uh, specifically in Algebra 1, it was hard. I didn't know anything. I was so confused. I have three stars on my pants? Oh, I thought I had two. There's one in my pocket. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, sorry. Um, so I did that. Uh, ninth grade was pretty hard. I was... One time I had like a 20 minute meltdown because I honestly thought I was gonna have a mental problem because it was so hard. I was so confused. The teacher even said, hey Millie, I'm gonna be honest with you. I don't know how to teach you. And I'm proud of him for telling me that because it's better than lying to me and just, you know, it's better than lying. He told me the straight up truth and I'm proud of him for that. Because if he didn't, it would have been harder because then I would have Oh wow, this person doesn't know to, this person even doesn't even know how to teach me. Oh my gosh. No, he told me the straight up truth. And um yeah. So now 10th grade comes along and I'm still at the same school. Life is like so much easier. I feel more confident. I've gotten straight A's on um one semester, so I'm hoping to get straight A's on the second semester too. It's been crazy to think that I only have two years left of education before I'm in college. And thank you guys so much for commenting this stuff and inspiring me to do these videos that I never really thought I'd be doing. I've just been inspired to do a, a journey through my education. Um, please subscribe to my channel. Turn on the notifications. Like this video, share with people who you think would be interested. Um, and keep the comments coming, you know, request covers I could do, request any type of videos I could do. Just keep the comments coming. I love you guys so much. 2018 has just been crazy. I don't know how this happened. All of a sudden, bam, you have 66 subscribers. I'm like, <gasps> I will see you next time. I don't know when that'll be. Third day in a row doing a video. What will I do tomorrow? I don't know. Okay. I love you guys so much. Bye.